guys. I um, just wanted to share um, a couple hauls with you. I placed an order with Best Bath Store and e.l.f. for some of their new studio products. So just wanted to share that with you. I think I'll do Best Bath Store first because um, it should go by pretty quick. I took advantage um, of the deal that I shared with you guys. They were having a deal on Mamapedia.com that I wasn't even aware of. They're not having it anymore, unfortunately. But you could get $20 um, worth of products from their website for just $10. Basically, you pay $10 for a $20 gift certificate. So I took advantage of that, and then I ordered through Ebates, so I was able to get an extra 15% back on my order, too, so it's really awesome. If you guys haven't signed up for Ebates, definitely do so. Um, I talked about it briefly before, um, and right now is a great time, because I've been doing a lot of online shopping, especially. I've been a part of it for a couple of years now, since 2008. I didn't even realize, but um, it's definitely a great site. Um, so for Best Bath Store, they give you back 15%. Um, of your order, which is a huge amount. I think that's one of the biggest ones that they have. Um, so yeah, and right now they're doing like a holiday referral thing, so if you sign up through my referral, you get $5 credit, and so do I. So if you want to sign up through that, that's awesome. Uh, if not, definitely still sign up on your own, because I think it's a great, um, great program. It's free, and you're getting money back for, you know, shopping online like you normally would. So anyway, um, I ordered just a few things. Um, I really, really love their acne facial bar. I, I really like how it smells too. It's very um, fresh and clean, kind of herbally, but I really like it. Very spa-like. So I love this. Mine's almost completely gone. It does last a while though, but um, I ended up getting three of them. So that's their um, Acne Facial Bar, which I do really like. It's 3.5 ounces. So I got three of those. These are $4.95 each, which is a great value. And I love that, I mean, at first I was kind of like, I don't like using, you know, bar soap on my face. That's weird. Especially because I didn't have great results with the Clinique face bar that they have. I didn't like it at all. Um, but I used this and I really, really did like it. And it's great because you can actually take it in the shower and use it on your body if you have any, like, breakouts on your chest or on your back or anything like that. They're great, so I love these. So I've got three of those. And then the last thing that I got, oh my god, it was a pretty small haul. I ended up picking up another one of their Dead Sea Body Bars, which is also one of my other favorite products that they have. This one's great. They're, it's a similar scent. Um, this one's more fresh, kind of um, ocean-like. It's really nice. This one has um, like exfoliating particles in it. I don't know if it's loofah or like the dead, actual Dead Sea salt and mud in it, but it's really nice. I really do like this a lot. Um, so those are the things that I ordered. No, actually, one more thing. I ordered another one of their lemon lime um, lip balms, which I have had before, and these are two ninety five. So that's all that I ordered. And then what's great about Best Bath bleh, Best Bath Store <laughs> is they give you the opportunity to try out their products for free. So when you place an order, you can pick up to five free samples of any of the products they have. They have a, a samples page, and you just add five different things to your cart. Or they have an option for you to just buy the samples. Um, they're technically free. You just have to pay for shipping. So if you've ever wanted to try their products out, you can do it that way. You get um, pick five samples and just pay for shipping. But since I was placing an order anyway, I thought might as well add those samples to my cart so I could try some new things out. Um, first thing I added was their Pore Refining Facial Toner, and this is a quarter of an ounce. I've tried the Acne Toner, so I wanted to see how this one worked, so I got that. And then they have some new scents of their bath salts, and this is one of them. So this is their Birthday Cake Bath Salts. So that's the sample size of that. It says that it's not enough for one bath, but, you know, probably good enough for a foot soap, but... And it's sealed, so I can't really, I can't really smell this one. It's supposed to smell like birthday cake, though, so I'm assuming it's going to smell like vanilla batter type thing. And then the last three samples I got were of their body scrubs. I have not tried these before. They're new to me. And they come in three different scents, so I picked, you know, one of each scent. Um, the first one is coffee body scrub. Look at how cute these containers are. They look almost like little ice cream containers. So very cool plastic. You can reuse these for sure. So this is the coffee one, and it doesn't have a super strong coffee scent, so if you're like, oh, I don't know about that, hopefully you guys can see, hopefully it'll focus on the little exfoliants. It's really nice. And I actually tried it on my hand, um, but yeah, the scent of this isn't super strong coffee. When I first got it and I smelled it, I almost was like, are you sure this is coffee? There's like a slight coffee scent to it. 
but um, it's nice. And these, like I said, I use it on my hand. It's really nice. It's not too rough, even though the particles look really big. It's a body scrub, so your body can handle it. Um, but really, it's not too bad. If you press harder, obviously, and use less water, you'll get more of an exfoliation. But if you want it to be a little milder of an exfoliation, definitely wet your skin and use just a little bit of it. But what's nice is that this doesn't leave you greasy at all, but it leaves like a very um, thin layer of moisture on your skin, so it's really nice. And then I also picked up the lavender scented one. And this one, it smells like lavender but there's also kind of like a sour note to it and again it looks the same there you go almost looks like the apricot um scrub St. Ives but definitely more exfoliants in this because for your body and then the last scent that they have is the summer citrus one and this one's probably my favorite it's just a nice fresh citrus scent none of these scents are overpowering at all and again it looks the same they all look the same um so yeah, I do like those, so I'll definitely try that in the shower, and if it's anything like it was on my hand, I'm sure I will like it. But that's it for Best Bath Store. Um, next, I placed an order with e.l.f., and I probably placed these orders, I think, at the same day, and they came pretty close to around the same time. Anyway, um, Ebates for e.l.f. is 4%, so I love e.l.f. because it's affordable, but then if you shop through Ebates, you get an extra little bit back. So I got 4% back on this order. Um, I picked up a few things that I needed. Um, backups of, as well as some of their new studio items, which I hadn't been on the e.l.f. website in forever, and then they were having the 50% off studio um, line sale, and so I decided, okay, I'm going to check it out, and I looked, and there were tons of new products that I hadn't even seen before, and I was like, okay, I definitely need to place an order, and here's my little tip for you. Um, I ordered with my cousin. That way we could we could share and split the shipping costs. If you have friends that you know who like to order from the same websites as you do, definitely order together because then you can save on shipping. Even though like shipping for Elf is like six ninety five, still I would rather pay three fifty than seven bucks on shipping. So that's what we did. My cousin ordered with me, so I picked up a few things. I'll show you the stuff that I've ordered before, and then um, I'll go into the new things, which I thought were pretty exciting. I got another one of the mineral infused face primers. I do have a review on this if you're interested. I do really, really like this. I'm on my last bottle, so I had to get a backup of it. Um, Six dollars originally, fifty percent off. It was three dollars. Can't beat that. And then um, I got another one of the eyebrow treat and tames. This one's in dark. And I ran out of mine a long time ago, so I decided to get a, another one. Um, this side is supposed to help your eyebrows grow, which honestly, I was using it and I didn't really notice anything. You can use it kind of like as a, as a moisturizer, I guess, for eyebrows, but I didn't notice that it was making my eyebrows grow or anything like that. Um, and then this other side is just like a, a colored brow gel, basically. And I do really like this. It keeps my brows in place, and it adds a little bit of color. Um, the color is too light for me, so I do have to use it on top of my brow powder. But I do really like this a lot, so I got that. And again, that was in dark. And then I picked up another one of their cream eyeliners, and this one's in black. And this one, this time around, um, when I first got mine, it was just the eyeliner by itself. But this time, they now come with little eyeliner brushes, which is nice. You know, that's kind of cool. So here's the eyeliner pot, and it's in black. And it looks like this. And I've had this before, and I do like it. It's not like super, super black or anything. Kind of have to go over it a little bit, but for the price, three dollars half off. It was a dollar fifty. Can't beat it. And then it comes with a little, little eyeliner brush now, which is soft too. So that's that. And then all the rest of the stuff is new, um, new to me. I don't know how long it's been on the on the site, honestly, but they were all new to me, and hopefully new to some of you guys. And I don't know. So one of the new ones were their conditioning lip balm with SPF 15, and I got one just to try it out, and I got the one in Mellow Melon. It's like a coral, pinky color. Um, it's actually quite big. I was surprised when I got this. This is $3. I was expecting it to be the same size as the eyeliner, but it's a lot bigger, as you can see. It's a ton bigger. Um, so it's kind of bulky. I don't know if you'd really want to carry this around, but... It's nice. The packaging for the studio line, I think, is very nice. Very simple, but yet sleek. And this is very tightly sealed. And it has a little plastic cap on it, which I would keep on, I guess. I don't know. And it looks like that. 
and I have tried it, and one thing I will say, I think it smells really bad. I, I'm not a fan of vanilla, so it has that vanilla scent, but at the same time it has kind of like a medicine-y scent, which I don't like at all. And it's kind of, like the product you can see is way down there, so you do have to like dip your finger in there or use a lip brush. But if you have longer nails, it's kind of hard to get in there, honestly, but without scraping it, but let me try to swatch a little bit of it for you. It's right there. Let's see. I'm not wearing anything on my lips right now. I kind of see it. It does have, you know, a decent amount of pigmentation for a lip balm. And yeah, I don't know. Again, I just really don't like how it smells. If you like vanilla, I'm sure it won't be too much of a problem. I just, I don't like how that smells at all. Um, but it's a pretty color. I just don't like having to dip my finger in it, but I do have a lip brush that I use for that. But yeah, that's the conditioning lip balm with SPF 15, so it's nice that it has SPF. And then another new product that they have, this was $6, and I was kind of like, I don't know about this. Because again, I wasn't sure how big this was going to be. $6, it's their new Studio Cream Blush. So it's a cream to powder finish, it's oil free, and the color that I got is in Seductress. And this is one of the darker, brighter colors. And this one is a really big pot. So, again, I wasn't sure what I was expecting. This is the eyeliner pot. This is the blush, the cream blush, and it's actually even bigger than the, the lip balm, too. So, it's a big pot, and this one has 0.53 ounces, the lip balm has 0.26, and the eyeliner has 0.17, in case you're wondering. And again, this color is in Seductress, same packaging, it's just bigger, and it also has the little plastic on top. This one's more secure to keep it from drying out, I guess, and there's lint in there. So this one's very, very bright. I'm not wearing it today. I wore it yesterday. Very, very bright. It's really pigmented. It's very smooth feeling. It Almost when I opened it, I thought it was going to be like a moussey texture. It's not. It's just a very solid um, cream. And it's really nice. So that's the color right there. It's very pigmented. But what's nice is that it blends nicely. So even though it was super pigmented on my finger, it blends well and it blends quite easily into your skin so it's not going to be like blotchy really i didn't have a problem with it at all it's really nice it's very very bright definitely a color i don't have so um that one again is in seductress they have quite a few colors i think um i might want to try one in like a peachier tone but i i stayed away from that color just because i was like i have too many blushes that color i want to get something different and this one is very different so see so you can see it just blends nicely into your skin, but it is quite pigmented, which is nice. Um, so that was that, and then they have um, some new e.l.f. Studio face products. So first one that I tried to pick up was the tinted moisturizer with SPF 20, and you can see there what it looks like. This reminds me a lot of the Smashbox tinted moisturizer packaging, or like Revlon color say. Um, you can see in the window, it's not completely full. So the packaging is deceiving. It's not completely full. There is 0.7 fluid ounces in here. And the color that I got is in Nude. And I think this was like the second shade that they had. So this is Nude. Haven't tried this yet. Let me see the color in the window. Right there. So it's not, again, it's not completely full. Um, but I like the fact that it has an SPF of 20 in it. It has aloe, cucumber, and vitamins A, C, and E. And um, here's the little squeezy tube applicator. It reminds me a lot of the Smashbox tinted moisturizer. Um, this was $3. And then with the sale, it ended up being $1.50. This one just smells like sunscreen to me, I think. Let's see. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's right there. Again, this is going to blend nicely, too. I haven't used this one yet, but it blends nice. I don't know if it gives a lot of pigment, though. I don't know if it's going to be a lot of coverage, but it smells like sunscreen to me, so we'll see how that goes, but I just thought that was interesting. It's really nice. I was saying before that I really love the studio products. I think what they're missing are um, more face products, like foundations and stuff, which I get to one of my last products that I have here is their new studio foundation. This, when I saw I was really, really excited. It's their Flawless Finish Foundation, SPF 15, oil-free. And this is $6. This is in the color Sand. 
I believe this is like the second lightest shade too. I was debating between sand and buff and I decided to go with sand. Um, and this has 0.8 ounces in it for $6 with a discount. It was $3, which is great. I actually like the packaging of this. If you just see it by itself, it looks very sleek, very nice. It's like that frosted glass, just solid black cap with the elf logo on top. And what's really great about this, it has a pump. I've seen more expensive foundations, whether it be drugstore or higher end, <clears throat> Max Studio Fix Fluid, that don't come with a pump, which I find really, really annoying. And the fact that, you know, a, a really inexpensive brand can put a pump on their foundation that costs, you know, six bucks, I think kind of is like, okay, why can't the other brands put a pump or even give you a pump in the package to give you that option? I don't know. But yes, yeah, so I was really happy that this had a pump in it. Again, this is in the color sand, and I'm actually wearing it today. So it, it suits me quite well. It's a little more on the yellow side than I normally wear a foundation, um, but I like it. And if in case you're wondering, I wear NC25 in MAC, and there's that right there. It's definitely on the thicker side. Um, I would say it gives medium to full coverage. You don't need too much of it. Like I said, it's it's quite thick, so definitely you don't need a lot, and it, you know, blend it out. This has, it has a scent. It doesn't have, like, a perfumey scent. It smells like cheap foundation. I don't know. It's not bad. It just, it just smells like that, but it has SPF 15, which is really, really nice. Um, I love double duty products. But yeah, so this blends nicely, and it gives you kind of like um, a semi-matte, kind of dewy look to it. Um, definitely a good amount of coverage, I think, and again, that's what I'm wearing today. So this is my first time wearing it. I don't know exactly how I feel about it just yet, but I was just really excited that e.l.f. came out with a foundation. So if you're looking for a cheap foundation, um, you know, maybe look at the e.l.f. website and see if you have a color that looks like it would match you. Um, and again, this one is in sand, and I wear NC25 in MAC. Um, and then the last thing that I picked up was their new um, studio brush, and it's their stipple brush. So that's really great. Again, waiting on e.l.f. to get on the stippling brush bandwagon. Um, this was $3. It's a great deal. And it looks like this. And what's nice about their brushes is that it gives you the name on the side no numbers, it just tells you straight up this is a stippling brush. Um, it's really, really soft, all synthetic fibers, but it is quite flimsy, you can see. It's just, it's not very dense at all, but it's nice if you're doing just, you know, powder. I haven't used this yet either. I should probably try and see how it works with the cream blush, but like I said, it's not very dense. It's kind of flimsy. If you press a little hard, you can see it kind of gives, but it's very soft. I really like that, so we'll see how that works once I wash it. But yeah, that's my haul. That's my Bath Bath Store and Elf Studio haul. I'm very excited about these new products. I think it's great that Elf is expanding their line because um, I do really like Elf a lot. It's very affordable and um, the studio line especially I think is actually really good. Um, so I hope this is helpful. If you guys want reviews on anything, let me know. Um, again, sign up for Ebates. I'll post uh, my referral link in the description box if you would like to earn $5 and give me $5. Um, if not, definitely go on the website. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure you can sign up without a referral at all. Um, so yeah, definitely a great website to check out because for the Best Bath Store I got 15% back. For the Elf I got 4% back and it all adds up, which is great. So um, yeah, that's my little haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.